All right, welcome to the donut desk. Had the uh, the Ryobi open to reflash the controller and the ESC, so I decided to do a internals rundown. Start with the boring side. Uh, there's you know one thing over here, and it's the the stock drill switch. Uh, I murderized the insides of it a little bit, and then rewired it to make use of both. Uh, the selector switch here that also acts as a safety and then also it has multi two sets of contacts inside one of them was to originally power small LED that was right here and then the other one was the main contact so I've repurposed that for a dual stage trigger uh, the wires yeah they route up here pretty nicely where they then jump over to uh, the side where all the business is. So, you know, battery content. Oh, geez. Let me fix the lighting. This way? Yeah. There we go. Alright, so, stock battery contacts. I've got 16 gauge going to the 4 in 1 ESC. And another set of, you can see it right there, uh, 22 gauge that's powering the uh, relay for the solenoid. So that 22 gauge pops out the front there and it is relayed to the solenoid when it's turned on. Uh, and that seems to be doing just fine. Like I said, there's the 4-in-1 ESC that you can barely see in there that is mounted into this central carrier piece I printed. Uh, it's intended, it's basically the same shape as the motor that used to be there. Actually, I'll... Uh, I have those bits on the floor instead of put away. Yeah, see the uh, motor used to sit right in here. So it's just, it's a bunch of circles. You gotta, you just figure out the right circles to go where. You can just fit what you want in there. Uh, yeah. So this entire carrier piece, very compact package, uh, little boot to cover the back of the solenoid so that I don't get tangled up in all of this wiring mess. Uh, power wires to the solenoid, signal wires, signal and power to the relay. Uh, this is one of the connectors going to the motors, the other one is tucked underneath it real nice, but the motor wires come out, snake around, and then you know, go out this cover to the motors. Uh, yeah, as you can see, not a, not a lot of room to work with. Uh, that wonderfully hot glued mess is my Adafruit QT Pi RP2040. That's the brain to the business. Uh, I used it because A, it's small, and B, it has the, uh, the I2C quick port that lets me just run a cable out to my, uh, oh, sound of knocking stuff down, to my rotary encoder and OLED. Oh, stuff's falling. Uh, this isn't plugged in all the time because it's kind of big, but also I like it because look, it, it's like an iPod. Yeah, this does, you know, spins like a rotor encoder, center click, and then four directions. So it's real nice for navigating and sending stuff. This is a standard OLED, nothing fancy. Uh, I don't have those plugged in all the time because given the drill, there's, where, where do you put a screen on here? There's a little spot down there, but it's not great. It's also really far down and I'd have to run the wires all the way down these channels and they're on the wrong side of the shell there's no channel on this side so it's kind of awkward uh oh rip i think yeah so you can see this this wire hops over to the other side of the shell for a ground connection and then the other four switch connections plug in behind this connector Oop. yeah it's kind of crowded but uh, you know, it works. 
think you, know, you can see the other side of the ESC right here. That's uh, power and ground going to my buck converter. And then the two single wires for the motors. Uh, I, that's about it. It's, yeah. Another look inside, Ian. I can kind of see in there. Yeah, there's the ESC mounted there. The buck converter is like that little bit underneath the ESC you can kind of see. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, another better view of the mag. Uh, release because Flycore doesn't normally have one. I need to redo this because watch this. Yeah. It doesn't happen when you have a mag in there because the mag is in the way over here. But uh, I still need to like flip it around. Uh, eventually, I want to move the MR30 connectors so that they plug into this. Uh, middle slice here so that they like plug in right there so I can from the outside unplug them since I don't like having to open the drill uh the relay that almost stands up the relay is on this like you can see it moves this uh dynamic mounting solution because uh, if you look right there notice that screw hole notice this screw oh it's harder to see on this side, but uh, yeah, it's sort of a interference alignment that just happened because of the size of the relay. But yeah, uh, you know that's that's it. Four wires here, control the relay module. They're just going down and then under and then out this side. Yeah. That's just a rundown of the insides. I've already got at least one person that wants me to uh, work on parts to be able to do this to uh, Milwaukee. And, you know, I'll tell everyone if you send me a drill, I'll try and make bits that will fit into it. So, yep, it's been internals rundown. Bye-bye.